It's not hard to understand why for generations the Apache people have considered this land sacred, cradled inside the Tonto National Forest in Arizona, 50 miles from Phoenix, a cathedral of the wild. This is a holy and sacred site where our deities reside. So in a young Dr. Wensler Nosey says he will lay down his own life if that will stop a proposed copper mine. It's sad, but sometimes it even takes death for people to understand what's wrong in this world. But we cannot be afraid. He says mining here will extinguish rituals like this sunrise ceremony, rarely seen by outsiders. It marks the coming of age for Apache girls. Four days and four nights of dance and prayer. Dr. Nosey has been camped out at Oak Flat for more than a year, often with his daughter and granddaughters. Because beneath this beautiful place lies a fortune, one of the largest copper deposits in the world, 1.5 billion tons, which the company has already spent $2 billion exploring. It's hard to imagine if someone found copper underneath St. Patrick's Cathedral that anyone would think it was okay to blow up the cathedral in order to get to the copper. Yeah, you know, I mean, it, that's what really uh, bothers me. You know, how is our religion any different than anybody else's? You know, it's not. The mining company, Resolution Copper, owned by Rio Tinto and BHP, two foreign mining titans, respects the concerns of Dr. Nosy, says engineer Vicky PC. Is there any way to protect what is sacred and mine this copper at the same time? Actually, that's some of the things that we've been doing so far. She points to a tribal monitor program they have put in place to facilitate dialogue. We've avoided many, many, many sacred sites and sacred areas including Apache Leap, where warriors jumped to their deaths during the 1870s to avoid imprisonment by the U.S. cavalry. This land, rich in sorrow, too. Despite such reassurances, there is reason for concern. Last year in Australia, Rio Tinto destroyed caves sacred to two Aboriginal groups. The destruction was so severe that the, the CEO of the company actually resigned. How can you be so sure this is a company that will respect this area in the way that you're suggesting it will? Well, I think that you can look through at the record so far. We respect that tribes have interests outside of reservation boundaries. We'll also be highly regulated under federal law. I would just point out that Rio Tinto also promised they wouldn't destroy the Aboriginal caves, and yet they did. That is not comforting. We have no authorization to mine here. If they get permission, the company projects extracting 40 billion pounds of copper over 40 years, supplying up to 25% of U.S. demand and creating more than 1,000 jobs. The Arizona economy could rake in a billion dollars every year for decades, with billions also generated in federal taxes. But there is a problem. Cave block mining means that over time, the ground will simply collapse, leaving a massive pit nearly two miles wide and a thousand feet deep, deep enough to hold the Eiffel Tower, replacing this majestic landscape. Dr. Nosey says that pit will also swallow up these 1,600-year-old petroglyphs. This is our book. This is the book of life. Because we're natives, you know, it doesn't, it's not important to them. Okay, yeah. Vanessa Nosey says she's worried this land will no longer be here when her daughter, Sha Yu, comes of age. We're asking for the United States to recognize us. We're asking for justice on our religion. We're asking them to protect a holy site. And two days ago, they got what may be good news. Everything is coming to a halt for at least a couple of months as the U.S. Forest Service abruptly withdrew the environmental impact statement required for the land transfer. We've had uh, extensive conversations with the Noisy family. I don't know if you've had the opportunity to meet them yet. I have not had the opportunity to meet Mr. Noisy, but we would love to. That, says Dr. Noisy, is news to him. He told us if she wants to talk, she knows where to find him at Oak Flat until the very end. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. 
One of Dr. Nosy's lawyers told us yesterday that they still consider Oak Flat on death row, despite the Forest Service action uh, earlier this week. They said they're just changing the execution date. And by the way, an update on those Aboriginal caves that were destroyed in Australia that uh, we mentioned in the piece. Uh, the Parliament of Australia said that Rio Tinto, quote, knew the value of what they were destroying, but blew it up yesterday. In light of all of this, late yesterday, the chairman of the board of Rio Tinto and another board member stepped down in light of the, what they called a tr the tragic event. Oh, and by the way, the price of copper soared last week. Uh -huh. Back to you guys. Cynthia McFadden from oh, Cynthia, wow. thank you. Thank okay, you. Cynthia, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.